arrows reflect the movement of electrons. Now, I know it's not always a perfect way to show reality, but it's a great tool for chemists to show mechanism and also to predict chemical outcome of a reaction. For that reason, it's an important skill for you to acquire. Now, the more arrows you draw and the more mechanisms you see, you'll recognize certain general patterns. Arrows all tend to generally move in the same direction within a molecule. They don't move towards each other, and they don't move away from each other. Arrows tend to start and finish at specific positions within a molecule, either at an atom or in the middle of a bond. Where that arrow has two barbs, we know it's moving two electrons. So we can predict the consequences of that arrow movement. Firstly, we'll think about where the arrow begins or ends at an atom. Where the arrow begins at an atom, and that atom starts out as negative, the consequence of the arrow movement will make it neutral. Where an atom starts out neutral, the consequence of that arrow movement will make it positive. Now, we'll think about what happens if an arrow ends at an atom. If the atom starts out neutral, the consequence of that arrow movement will make the atom negative. If the atom starts out positive, the consequence of the arrow movement will make it neutral. Now we're going to move on to talk about what happens at the middle of a bond as a result of an arrow beginning or ending there. Firstly, what happens if an arrow begins in the middle of a bond? Well, if that bond is a triple bond, the consequences of an arrow movement will make it a double bond. If the bond begins a double bond, the consequence of the arrow movement will make it a single bond. And if the bond begins as a single bond, the consequence of the arrow movement will make it no bond at all. Finally, what happens if the arrow ends in the middle of a bond? Well, to start with, if there was no bond there, the consequences of the arrow will create a single bond. If to start with, there was only a single bond there, well, the consequence of the arrow movement will make a double bond. And ultimately, if there was a double bond there, the consequence of the arrow movement will make it a triple bond.